Uh, Lord Russell, I wonder if you'd mind talking for a few moments about the place of the scientist in modern society. Well, I feel that uh, the general public tends to be a little unfair to the scientist. It's true that uh, some scientific discoveries can be put to very bad uses. But it's not the business of the scientist to think whether in the pursuit of knowledge he is giving dangerous knowledge or useful knowledge. That is for the politician to think. And in fact, the scientists discover ways of prolonging life and ways of shortening life. And the politicians seize with avidity upon the ways of shortening life, but tend to ignore the ways of prolonging it. And that's the fault of the politician and not of the man of science. What then do you feel are the intellectual responsibilities of the scientist towards the society in which he lives, or perhaps one should say towards mankind? Well, his primary responsibility as a scientist is to uh, further knowledge and, I think, what is disappearing in the modern world, uh, to make any knowledge that he acquires public. That, I think, is the, the primary responsibility. Of course, when his discoveries have all sorts of effects which are not obvious except to the man of science, then it is clearly his duty to let the world know what those effects are, whether for good or for evil. Then there's pure research. That's of great importance, isn't it? Oh, yes, I think pure research is of immense importance. I think it's what makes the difference of the world we live in from the world of the dark ages it's scientific knowledge that makes the difference and although scientific knowledge at present is in a dangerous phase it is the thing which ultimately should lead to a happy life for mankind and what uh, of this current uh, controversy concerning science and the arts in education? Uh, well, I think it's very desirable that uh, the general educated public should have more understanding of science than it has at present. But I don't want to see the arts squeezed out. Not at all. What I do want to see is uh, methods of making what is valuable in an arts education more easily accessible. I think that people will have to be content with reading uh, Greek and Latin authors in translations, except for a rather limited number of specialists. They lose something, but I think the gain in time is worth it. Uh, but surely this means an extension in the educational period. Uh, well, uh, it means I'm thinking for the moment of uh, the people who are going to be uh, at least at the level of university education. Uh, and uh, I don't think it does mean an extension for them. I mean, if a person is going to be educated up to the age of 21 or 22, I think it can easily be done if people will give up certain traditional pedantries which are not of very great importance. Now, Lord Russell, what hope does the future hold for mankind as you see it? The hope for mankind rests upon the possibility of curbing the quite insane nationalism which at present prevails in every part of the world.